I don't know about you, but there are a few phrases that just drive me around the bend. One of them is, be a man. Forget that. One thing this world has plenty of is men. That, and there are numerous examples of this particular phrase, being used to goad otherwise sane males into doing something monumentally stupid, like getting drunk as a skunk and waking up the next morning saying, who's that in my bed? What I propose instead would probably be considered wishful thinking, or even delusional nowadays, but here goes. Guys, quit trying to be men. Shoot higher. Aim to be heroes. Before you laugh at the idea as being too over the top, stop and ask, what do you mean be a hero? And is being a hero really that complicated? I'll tell you what I mean by being a hero. And no, it really isn't complicated. Fellas, being a hero doesn't mean brandishing a weapon while screaming a war cry like, death to tyrants. No, it's about adhering throughout your lives to a basic set of principles. And though I say throughout your lives, it is never too late to start, no matter how badly you may have messed up your life before. The most obvious of these principles is bravery. You can't be a hero if you aren't brave. But being brave has nothing to do with your ability to pick or win fights. It has to do with not shrinking away when something is difficult or frightens you. Bravery alone doesn't make you a hero, though. Villains can be brave, too. After all, many people in history have been willing to take insane risks to achieve evil ends. So what do you have to add to bravery to turn it into heroism? Well, the next thing is integrity. Integrity and bravery are closely linked in a hero. A hero will stay honest even when he knows it will cost him big time. A hero is honest even when he knows he won't get credit for it, even when he knows no one is looking. In a world that thinks nothing of little white lies or fibs as tools for covering up one's mistakes, a hero will own up to what he's done when he screws up. A hero is also a servant. That means they are dedicated to something bigger or more important than themselves, be it God, country, or even a simple concept such as justice. It means that their own ego isn't important to them. If you meet someone that struts around crowing about their accomplishments, no matter how big a deal they really are, they aren't a hero. They're a twit. A hero puts others' needs above their own. That's not to say a hero can never take pride in what they do or attend to their own needs, but such things are not placed at the top of a hero's list of priorities. Lastly, a hero perseveres. Perseverance means that if something is worth doing, you don't quit, period. Whether life is just hectic or you're tired from a long day at work or it looks like you're not making any headway, a hero doesn't make excuses. A hero does what needs to be done. The great thing about being a hero is that anyone can do it. You don't have to be a seven foot tall mass of muscle for these things to apply. A quadriplegic in a wheelchair can be one. And while I've used the example of the phrase, be a man, we ladies need to remember to set our own personal standards high as well. Doesn't matter how we've messed up before, any one of us, male or female, can exercise heroism.